right, let's just dive in, right? Let's do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got David, uh, pronouns are he, him, calling from Pennsylvania, says that, that he's had a personal experience where he talked to Jesus and the Antichrist. Dave, what happened? I'm stoked to hear about it, man. So, yeah, so basically it's kind of a long story. Um, so uh, first of all, I just want to say I've been a fan of the show for a long time and uh, for 12 years, actually. And basically what happened was um, these experiences that I had, it was um, it was when I was like psychotic because like in uh, 2010, I um, got diagnosed with bipolar. Um, mm. I was manic and psychotic and stuff. So like I... I started to think that like LeBron James was the Antichrist. And so I started like Googling like 666 type stuff. I came across the atheist experience. Um, and then it just kind of went from there. Um, the second time I got really sick, which is in 2014, I wound up in the psych ward for like nine days and I talked to a guy and I was just like looking for answers. I was like obsessed with this hockey player that died the same day as me or died the same day I was born. I meant to say, and, uh, and I was asking like this guy, I was asking like a bunch of people in the psych ward about it because I was like, you know, off my meds and kind of like acting crazy. And it seemed like the stuff that he told me had made sense. And it seemed like nobody else was paying attention to him. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a long story. And then the Antichrist, it was like the guy that, that this guy that Jesus that I talked to in the psych ward, he told me what he thought the name of the Antichrist was. So like I messaged the guy on Facebook and he kind of started like talking shit to me and stuff like that. Um, and really I'm just trying to kind of like move past all that. Okay. Um, but it was just like such an intense experience and I keep seeing things pop up that like kind of reinforce my delusional beliefs and I'm trying to like move past forward. This from is it. interesting because you're, you're, it sounds to me like you're characterizing these experiences as I mean, you just use the word delusional. So are, I mean, are you under the impression mm -hmm. that these experiences that you've had are not consistent with reality? They're not consistent with reality because I was psychotic at the time that they happened. Um, okay. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't at all religious, like before, like I got sick. Um, and it really was like, just, you know, I don't know, like, like when you're, when you're manic and stuff, you have like a lot of grandiose type thoughts. And a lot of times that of mm -hmm. course comes to like God, because you, you can't explain what's going on in your mind, especially if you didn't know ahead of time that you were sick. And so you just kind of mm -hmm. say, Oh, well it's God. Or like, Oh, I'm, I'm like experiencing something with God because you don't have like a better way of, of explaining it. So I think a lot yeah. of people that are like delusional have like, you know, or people that are like mentally ill have like delusions about like God and stuff like that. Well, um, yeah, we, it probably wouldn't be a great idea to be speaking for other people. If they want to call and talk about their experiences, they're, they're of course more than welcome to. But I guess what I'm wondering at this stage in this call is just, um, you know, how are you doing now? Are you, are you getting the the help and the care that, that you need? And are you still having these kinds of experiences? I'm doing fine now. I haven't been sick in like eight okay. years and I, I didn't, I didn't want to make it seem like I thought that religion was a mental illness. I'm not like, I, I hear people like Bill Maher no, say that. I, totally disagree with I, that at all. I think I get what you were saying. You're saying that this can exacerbate things, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's just like one yeah. thing, like when you're manic and you're kind of paranoid and you're psych psychotic, you tend to believe in like conspiracies. Like you believe that like, you know, the government's after you or like, mm -hmm. or that God's after you. Cause like right before I got manic the first time I, I like prayed to God that like, um, I kind of bribed God in a way. I, I prayed to him that like, if the Cavs won the championship that I'd become like a Christian and um, it felt like when I got sick, like right after LeBron left, um, that God was kind of making fun of me. It felt like he was flipping me off. It kind of felt like he was telling me basically to like go fuck myself um, because it felt well, like it, what the prayer that I said was like so stupid. Go ahead, Forrest. I think it's really important that like this whole time you you have used – like words like you've talked about how these are manic episodes you've talked about how these delusional things you've talked about like it it you you are incredibly sober and lucid in the way that you're describing these things and that's reassuring to me and it makes me feel like like you've got a lot of hope there and the fact that you're able to identify what these things are um the, uh, something you said at the very beginning though that i wanted to, to jump back to because it sounded like the reason why you called 
was that you were worried that uh like you, you were trying to walk away from this you're trying to, to recover from this like like what what's the reason for for the call today Screener asked me if I was an atheist or a theist. I would, I would probably honestly prefer to be an atheist because I think I'd be able to sleep better. Um, it just, I just keep going back to the episodes, and it just seems like there's always things to, like reinforce my delusional beliefs. Like I'm not sick. I mean, I'm on medication, and I haven't been sick in a long time. Um, it, it's like the one thing I worry about the most is that, like, if I get sick again. Because it occurred to me both times I got really sick that maybe I should just commit suicide when I'm sick because um, because that'd be like the only way I could go to heaven because like when I'm not sick, I'm not very religious. I don't, you know, I don't pray. I don't go to church. I don't read the Bible or anything like that. So it felt like my best bet of going to heaven would be just to commit suicide while I'm manic. Yeah. Um, because then I'd be like a true. You definitely don't want that. Time. Yeah. But I would say, I mean, th- this all, I mean, qu- frankly, I mean, like I, I do appreciate like Forrest said that you're, you're talking about these things in, in the terms that you are. It sounds like you're being thoughtful and reflective about these experiences in a way that's frankly sort of uncommon. Um, and that, that's a good thing. Uh, I think that this call might be like a little bit outside the scope of the show. And that if, uh, if you or anybody listening to this is having any type of thoughts of, of self-harm, um, the best thing you could possibly do is talk to somebody who's a, a mental health professional about that. Um, uh, David, I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're, you're doing well currently. Um, you're more than welcome to call the show again. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I, I hope you, uh, you're taking care of yourself. 